can't believe it. We actually got up late. We're less than five minutes away from the location and we woke up, we looked this way and there was no light. And then I went, hang on a second, watch this. And as you can see, we have some glorious clouds. Finally, on this weekend in Dingle. So I've come back up here to the Stayhead Drive right above Clotter uh, Head, which is just over here, and Clotter Strand, which is down here, looking back in at Mount Brandon and the Three Sisters. So I'm gonna hustle, gonna get the shot, and uh, yeah, finally, we get some clouds. So I'm not even worrying about composition uh, for this shot because we've arrived so late. But as you can see here, we've got some glorious light uh, off into the distance. So from a composition point of view, I don't want to even have look, consider something in my foreground. I want to go for a wide angle shot and I want to capture the three sisters, Keown Chabelle and Mount Brandon. The sun is about to rise, uh, so we're really 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 tight on time now um i'm going to dial in some very very quick settings here and see how we get on in relation to it um let's see okay so at the moment here i'm going to be at f7.1 and 1 13th of a second iso 100 and now oh yeah this is the conditions that we've been waiting and looking for and hoping for, but yeah, we nearly, nearly missed it. Okay, take this first quick test shot. All right, that's fine. I'm exposing for the sky. I can go a slight bit brighter, I think, as well, so nothing gets lost in the highlights. And what I'm doing here is composing the shot with a bit of a crappy foreground in front of me, but that's fine. I'm probably going to look for a 16 by nine composition here. So I'll take some of this out and just concentrate on this big, Vista that I have here in front of me, and then I'm probably going to go quickly now and grab my filters. And I'm going to pop my filters on here because that sun is coming up, so it's going to get brighter by the second. So if I put on my filter with my 0.9 ND grad, um, I'll have a better chance of controlling that light when it comes up, and then I'm not going to be able to lose anything and losing the highlights and stuff like that as well. It's a uh, bit ironic you know we get here to be close to the action and close to the scene and like i said we woke up it's now 26 minutes past five so the sun is rising in four minutes um and by being so close we parked and left down in kumanol but we made a very very quick drive uh, up here to reach this spot before this light goes when we first woke up the clouds that are at the very, very top here were glowing red, so we've missed the pre-glow, but hopefully now, with the sun coming up, I get some nice shots here, and once it breaches um, Brandon, I might get some shots looking out that way in Clotter, and also some light hopefully hitting the three sisters uh, below here as well. But yeah, woohoo, finally! But hopefully I haven't been too late. <laughs> So all the frantic running around there, well not much running around, but the franticness with the camera, it's pretty much over now. The uh, pre-glow is gone, so what we're now doing is waiting for the sun 
to rise and come up over the top of Mount Brandon. Um, when we first arrived actually, you know, I was getting some stuff out of the car, Dermot made a run for it and he found a great composition actually over here with a number of rocks uh, that lead you out into the scene. So of course, you know, I had to come and, you know, pretend that they were mine. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm going to get set up here and I'm probably going to go for another uh, wide angle photograph and I'm going to wait then for, like I said, the sun to pop up. There are a couple of wispy clouds as well that are catching a bit of light as they sweep up behind the mountains. So I might get that shot um, beforehand. But the next one anyway here is to use uh, what we have, which is a se sequence of rocks looking down below onto Clogher Beach, onto uh, Keown Chabel, the Three Sisters, and then over onto Mount Brandon with these great clouds that are here. So finally the clouds played ball instead of stopping play like they did last night. Um, and after that then, once the sun is up, we'll get some light hopefully shining out onto the islands on the other side. So we'll get a different perspective on some other islands that I've taken some photographs here over this incredible weekend so far. <laughs> Sun has finally come up to greet us and as you can see what a sight it is. Um, managed to get a beautiful sun star shot, threw it up to uh, F16, threw it up naturally at F18 just to underexpose it a bit because it would have been blown out um, because it's so bright with the clouds that are around that. Again like I said I'm composing here with Keown Chabel, the three sisters, Mount Brandon with the sun uh, right on top and there's a lovely ray of light now I'm just spotting here coming down to the left hand side of Mount Brandon so I think in a moment I might take a couple of shots there of the three sisters and see what they look like with the sun now shining on it from the opposite direction what I normally shoot it when I come here taking photos. So like I said from the outset I've never been to Dingle for dawn and it hasn't disappointed on boat mornings. Okay maybe we nearly disappointed ourselves by not getting up on time but I think we just got the tail end of that glow. Um, but now the sun is up <clears throat> so we're going to start lighting things up for us. As you can see here I'm being well lit up at the moment. I'm going to see what happens here in relation to uh, these compositions and then I'm going to pop up behind you and shoot back out towards the other islands that are there. I'm looking forward to seeing what Antiruk will look like actually in the uh, morning sunlight. So yeah, we'll crack on, finish this one off and then we'll go up over the ridge and see what reveals on the other side. <laughs> Come up now uh, onto the road, probably around maybe 100 metres, where you get a viewpoint of the three sets of islands here that are off the coast. And the island over here is on Blasket Moor. Small island in the centre here is on Tirucht. And then over here you have on Farm Arav, which is the sleeping giant or the dead man. I've put on my big lens, my 150 to 600, and I want to be able to capture some shots of these islands basking in the morning light. I gotta be also quick because there's a set of clouds that sitting on top of the blaskets and again haven't seen that before i'm sure that it happens a lot but i've never uh, witnessed it actually happening here so i want to catch it a shot uh, while i can so what i'm going to do here is just get set up and then yeah i'll talk you through whatever i find if i find something which no doubt i will the light now has finally come up over the ridge here and it's able to light up the islands that are in front of me and the uh on looks really really nice actually in this light 
that cloud as well that's sitting on top of the blaskets is very quickly dissipating so even with my 150 to 600 at 150 mil I was actually too tight on the blasket island so I ended up having to take two shots in relation to that now what I'm probably going to do next now I think is get one more shot of on farm Arav and then I'll take a three shot panel and I'll stitch those together as well to get the three islands basking in the morning light but yeah Delighted that we managed to get up. I think I've uh, got some nice shots so far. But yeah, really, really lucky that we managed to get up. Absolutely. My shots are better than yours. Your shots are always better than mine. Watch out, there's a car. Yeah, so as I continue to mind Dermot and look after him, yeah, you get the people who go past us here this morning. Good morning. So yeah, I'll uh, grab on here that night. Nice, oh, look, Cloud is sitting right at the edge of the baskets oh, there. Okay. Photographs first. Yeah, you know, you know, you come second. That's a wrap. I think I got some beautiful shots here now. The sun has gone too high, so the light's getting a bit harsh. But what I did do is I looked at the blaskets there, blasket moor, and there was cloud forming across the top of it. So I did a couple of different types of time lapses. One I did at the very, very edge of that, and then one I also did uh, on the entire island. And as you would have seen a moment ago as well from the drone footage, the light here on those islands was absolutely beautiful. It's been a great trip. 
to Dingle. I think I'm probably done actually now because with the clear skies that we're going to have for today, I'm probably not going to get much more photography during the day. But it's been an exceptional weekend. Really, really enjoyed the fun, the crack that I had with Dermot and the other guys as well that came with us last night for sunset. As I always say, every time I come to this location, it's my most favourite place to come take photographs. And hopefully from this weekend's trip, you can see many, many reasons why. If you ever visit Ireland, come down here, take a drive along this route, but make sure you spend more than five minutes in a spot because that's all I've seen is people taking a long, long drive, they jump over the car, they grab a quick photo with their phone and then they're gone onto the next one. Possibly because there's so many things to take some photographs of, but at the same point, breathe it in, take your time and enjoy the beautiful locations that we have all around us here on the Dingle Peninsula in Ireland. Thank you very much as always for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode and my previous episodes of this weekend. If it's your first time on the channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall.